In this video, I'm gonna share my top 8 locations to take pictures in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. What's up Earthlings, hope all of you are well, Alpha Spotting with you and I'm a professional travel photographer and content creator. So let's get into my top 8 locations to take pictures of the amazing city of Kuala Lumpur. Starting with number 1, it's called Barambang Apartments, not sure if I pronounced it right, but here's the type of picture you can expect there. It's honestly one of my favorite places to take pictures in Kuala Lumpur. The first photo I took there, which is the one you're seeing right now, it's just like, I'll share the caption that I put on Instagram for that picture to explain my feelings about it. It's, I, I just love it so much and um, that, well, that's probably my favorite spot to take pictures in Kuala Lumpur. Just like, I feel the picture from there is just so storytelling. I, I, I love it so much. Malaysia just give me, gives me this nostalgic, modern vibe I, I just love Kuala Lumpur so much so that's my number one locations all these locations are with Google Pen Maps in the description below so if you want to know exactly where it is you can uh, check the description when you go to this place you have to go to the first building which is uh, on the left and there you have to climb stairs all the way up uh, and keep in mind these are apartments uh, people labor workers mostly live there so people actually live there uh, it's very safe by the way everyone's chill so when you go up there there's like a terrace uh, that you can set up your girl apart or your tripod and take pictures and time lapse there remember that people actually live here so be respectful if you're going with your friends don't be loud uh, and yeah it's a chill place when you go up there you're gonna you're gonna see apartments next to you and you're gonna see people up there like I said everyone is friendly so just be respectful Number two, helipad bar. This place is phenomenal. It's an active helipad that uh, when it's time for sunset, like I think uh, starting from 4 p.m., it turns into a bar and it's a uh, amazing vibe. All the drinks there, including beer and wine and etc., they're all 30 ringgits, interestingly enough, and they offer a uh, wide range of selection and the food is not too bad. Uh, price is a little high, but remember, you're paying for the view and the view is sensational. It's sensational. You can take some amazing pictures there and uh, yeah, it's an amazing place. Number three, the monorail at Bukit Bintang where you can get this futuristic, wow, just I love this shot so much. It says Kuala Lumpur on the road and you get the light trails with the car passing. I, I love this spot so much. All you just have to do is walk on the monorail on the right side and uh, just go up, go all the way to the left. You'll see it for yourself and bring your gorilla pod or your uh, tripod and just uh, take a picture there. It's an empty place. No one is there. Uh, no one's gonna bother you. No one really bothers anyone in Malaysia when it comes to photos or anything else. So uh, yeah, Malaysia is great. <coughs> Dubai. <coughs>
Number four, arguably the best view in Malaysia, Traders Hotel at the Sky Bar. And uh, this place, yeah, you, you can judge for yourself. Absolutely love the view from here. Now, they don't allow tripods. You, can, you can't even, like, use a tripod there. Like, there's no space to use a tripod. You only have two choices. One is a gorilla pod, and one is if you just take your camera and put a wallet or something under it to uh, levitate it. And, uh, yeah, note that... Depending on your luck, security is usually a little stingy on using even a gorilla pod. So uh, just something you should take a note of. Uh, this is one exception what that I give to Malaysia when it comes to them not being chill about photos. I made a vlog about it. I'll put a link about it in the description to know exactly what to expect when going to Trader's Hotel. So you know what I'm talking about because it's a, it's a little difficult to explain it in words. But you, you get sensational pictures there and a link to that video in the description as I've mentioned. If you guys are finding this video useful so far, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more. I would appreciate that as that would help me out. Number five for some really cool place for street photography, hit up Chinatown. I love this place so much. It's a street photography heaven. People are nicer, uh, nice food options, just proper street vibe. And you can get uh, a lot of yeah amazing pictures. They have Hindu temples, Chinese temples. Uh, culture is mixed it's a great place to just wander around and get lost malaysia chinatown it's it's a great place so definitely hit up chinatown and you're gonna have a blast number six kl manara tower this place whew, love it so much now you do have to pay for an entrance fee of uh, i believe 110 ringgits if i'm not mistaken approximately approximately that much little pricey just a little pricey in my opinion but if you compare it to a place like Burj Khalifa in Dubai it's fairly reasonably priced given the fact of what you're getting now you can stay there for an unlimited number of time take amazing pictures but the best thing about this place is their uh, sky box now tip when you go up there go get a ticket because when you go up there you have to get a ticket in order to use the skybox and you only get 40 seconds so make it count and you you'll get look at this photo you're gonna be in a glass box with a Kuala Lumpur skyline in the background it's a sensational place this is a picture of my friend Nick uh, this is a picture that he took of me tripods are allowed by the way uh, and remember 40 seconds and you're gonna have to wait a lot there's a lot of people everyone wants a photo there look at it so uh, remember when you go up there first thing you do get that ticket then wander around and then wait for your turn because you, you will have to wait for a while trust me but this place highly recommended highly highly recommended highly highly okay next number seven a classic one batu caves if you researched malaysia and kuala lumpur batu caves is like one of the top on the list what's special about batu caves is those um uh, huge golden monuments and of course the colorful stairs now people everyone say oh you have to climb an hour and it takes so long to climb those steps it's, it's honestly just a 10 minute climb it's it's easy and i would highly recommend going there it's a really great place and they have a lot of great restaurants at the bottom with uh, indian food chinese food and etc number eight and lastly <laughs> are you ready for this are you ready it's my this place is a bit of a hidden gem it's called Bukit Ampang is that the correct Ampang yeah that's a correct pronunciation Bukit Ampang and this is a hidden gem it's a bit out of the uh, Kuala Lumpur city you'd have to take an uber there it's a bit further out but look at this view I, I... Oh, okay guys wait for it I took one of my greatest shots of all time here it's so great hold up hold up it's even uh, it... one second the photo I took there was so great that I even added that to my business card right here. This is the picture. Boom! <laughs> I took like 200 pictures that night to get this one shot. It was a thunder night. I got so lucky. Look at this Kuala Lumpur city with lighting hitting it. Oh. <laughs> Uh, this place is a hidden gym. They have all food stalls there. You can buy a corn. You can sit there chill Everyone is chill. Love that place. Like I said, you have to take a uh, grab coming back and forth uh, So yeah, this place is definitely a hidden gym. I uh, look at this place Every city should have a place like this. This is by the way. This is a hill. You, you have to go up. It's a hill You, you go up with your grab. It's a hill and uh, 
you sit there, chill, eat, time lapse, take pictures. You can even drone there. This is one cool uh, drone shot that I got from this place, and this place is so epic. And it's a hidden gem. When I was researching uh, for spots to take pictures in Kuala Lumpur, like I opened 20, 30 different bogs and things like that, and only one of them had this location. It's a absolute hidden gem. If you guys found this video useful and you'd like to see more travel related videos and such please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up as that would help me out a lot and I would really appreciate that Blah. and I would really appreciate that follow me on my Instagram at alpha spotting if you haven't already and I will see you guys on my next video much love alpha out